Hi there, welcome to Jujube DIY. Today I'm bringing you a very special video. It's a little different than our normal DIY videos, but I think you're gonna like it nonetheless. I'm joining Heidi at Heidi Sambel DIY and Leah Nepp at DIY Beauty on Purpose for a craft room tour playlist. The playlist will have tons of craft room organization and inspiration. So if that sounds good to you and you wanna see what my craft room looks like, go get your craft room tour party pants on and let's get into the video. Okay, so I'm gonna do this craft room tour uh, vlog style. So it might be a little shaky, but you're getting it like you know, raw footage here, no editing. And um, yeah, this will be a lot of fun. So let's turn you around, maybe, turn, hello. Okay, so now you're turned around. So real quick, I'll just kind of give you a pan out of my craft room. This is my craft room. <laughs> so, um, it is a little space off of my living room. So my living room is down there and there's just like a banister here. And then this is open. So it's nice because when my kids are home, they can be, you know, hanging out in the living room and I can be here in my craft room and I still feel like I'm part of the family and, you know, we can still communicate and talk and it's just open. And I like that. Although, it means I have to keep my craft room a little more organized and clean <laughs> because it is seen from like the front door. So let's move over to this side of the craft room. I have the Ikea spice racks there and I've painted those in my color scheme for my craft room. And they are holding all of my regular acrylic paints. So let me step in here and we'll go to the shelf first. So this shelf is just like, um, you know, stuff that I plan to DIY and craft with eventually. Some of it's already been crafted. You can see like right there, I did those a couple of videos ago. So yeah, those are just over your like stocked shelves for DIYs. And then this shelf here has like my wood, wood stuff mostly. It is like this one here has got all my wood cutouts. So like there's some bunnies and pumpkins, stars, circles, just all those kind of wood cutouts that come seasonally at the Dollar Tree. There's some like the little wood stickers. So I just kind of keep all that stuff in this box. And then I've got some of my tumbling tower blocks. I had to order extra of those because my store was not stocking them. So this has just got some beads and clothespins and other wood type items in it. And this is like some little wood kits. These are my wood dowels and um, bamboo skewers. And then this box down here has got all of my craft sticks. And, and then this one here has got, I don't know if you can see that or not, those are like the Scrabble tiles and then the wood letters that you can get um, from Dollar Tree. And then these boxes here are just like random things. Like I have uh, trims in this box and then all of my resin and acrylic stuff is in there. I've got cross stitching stuff in here, old photos that need to go into scrapbooks, note cards. And then these bins down here, sorry, it's getting a little, oh, there's a couple of these little wood things here. But this bin here is all like florals that are taken, have been taken apart basically. <laughs> and this bottom one, is Christmas stuff. Whew. So then I've got like some extra, these are just things that I have that really are for craft, like transformation DIYs or whatever. And they're just too big to go anywhere else. So they're just like some thrift store finds. So we'll go to this side right here. This is a little, little owl that I made. I crocheted that guy. And then I have my Ohuhu alcohol ink markers here. I don't know if that's gonna focus or not, but I have them. I made this out of like, it's just made from um, 
poster board, not poster board, but uh, foam core. And then I just have them organize my colors. And then over here, I have all of my Distress Oxides and my brushes that I use for those. And then this box here is all of like my organizers. Um, yeah, pretty much all my organizer stuff. So then I'll show you the other part of the table here in just a minute. But here is my table and I have my little tiny ring light here. My, whew, you can't really see that. We'll get that to on the other side. So let me just turn this light a little bit so you guys can see. Ooh. Okay. So I have these really cool, I don't know if you can see them or not, but they're just um, like modular shelves, I think is what they're called, or mod modular cubes. Like you can create them in any way you want. So here is just like scrapbook papers that I need to um, organize. And then this is some of my crocheting stuff. This has all of like my, this here has got all of my hooks and all of my, a lot of my findings and stuff. And then there's some like craft eyes. Oops, can you see that? <laughs> For like making little animals and stuff. And then that's just like a project I was working on. And my laminator is right there. Let's see here. Oh, this is all of my, these are my canvas, my canvases. So I have them all in there. And then in this one down here, I was gifted a ton of um, stamping up stamps and they were all on blocks. So I took them all off the blocks and I have them all organized into these and I just use them with acrylic blocks. So those are all my stamps. Well, not all of my stamps, but those are the stamps there. And then this is all felt. And this is, you're gonna be like, what is that doll head doing in there? I have a doll head in here because I use those for um, my crochet, like my hats and stuff. So I use those to take pictures of my hats. And then this is a project I'm working on and another like foam head for taking pictures. And then down here, you can't really see. It's kind of a tight squeeze right here. So these are all like photo frames. Okay. Okay, now here, here's my embarrassing part. I don't know if it's embarrassing or not, but this is all of my yarn. So I have it all organized by color. This down here is all of like my cotton yarns. Whoa, this is all cotton yarns down there, down here. And these are multicolored yarns. And I will, just a second here. So then I just have them all organized by color. And it is a ridiculous amount of yarn. And then brown down there. So yeah, okay. Here's a couple little buddies that I have crocheted. They just kind of hang out here. This little box here is just like project box. This is gonna be things that I have kind of coming up that I wanna put aside. And just a couple of little decorations on this top here. And then over here I have, this is, needs to go to somebody else. So I have this little bin here and it is just holding random stuff. This is all scrap paper that I need to cut down and organize. This is just um, paperwork and things like that that are important to me, but not like documentary important or like document important. <laughs> this is a crochet project in, um, it's gonna be a little mermaid but she is in the works. <laughs> and then down here is a hat that I made for Halloween costume. It's a troll hat. And then a couple of little 
gift card holders. Okay. All right. So I have this cubby here. And these are like wood signs from the Dollar Tree. So they're just like the, any kind of like a wood sign. So the triangles. So yeah, those are all in there. And then this bin here is all like the flat wood signs. And this is more like wood signs and picture frames for DIYing with. And I will give you a peek into these bins. They are just kind of a random mess. So this is all envelopes for card making. I do make cards. And then this is paper quilling. So you're gonna find out in this video that I am insane and have my hand in a billion projects. So these are the wood blocks from the Stamping Up stamps. I just thought they were really good sizes. So I kept a few of them to maybe DIY with. And then this is really just starting to get random stuff. So I've got some of the plant holders, some playing cards, some headbands, little mason jars. I have some of my long stickers here. This is just a, like a pant and skirt hanger. And I just hang it onto these bins and they fit right there really nicely. So this is kind of some like random, these are like cutoffs of five gallon stir sticks, like the little handles. These are the one gallon stir sticks. And then I just have some smaller cuts of wood that I keep in here. And then in here, I have a random um, paper towel holder. This is dusty, good heavens. Um, this is my embossing machine with all of my embossing folders. So I just keep those there. This is just randomness, mostly little lights. Um, I have a lot of like fairy lights and um, little candle, like the, you know, like these candles, the little tea light candles, battery operated ones. And then this is also just kind of some randomness. I have like some other Easter hats and a couple of other little goodies down there. <clears throat> so yeah, that's, that's that cubby. This bin here is all full of this is all crochet stuff that just needs to be finished up and then I can sell it. There's that. <laughs> now moving on, I have my wall of flowers here. This is just one of the shoe holders from Walmart. And I have a lot of my florals here. And then I have one of these hooks. Let's see if I can get it off without like destroying everything. <clears throat> I have one of these plant hooks that I have all of my um, wreaths on. Um, let's see here. Try to turn the light so that we stay, we stay lit over here. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. So this is another shelf that I have. That is me and my best friend. We've been best friends for uh, 30 years now. And this is just some of my fun stuff. I've got a few books here. This was brought back from Mexico from my grandma when I was eight. And then little Boo from, from uh, Monsters, Inc. And there's a picture of me and my mom on my 18th birthday. And then I like these little guys, they're fun. This shelf here has got some embroidery threads some glitters. I've got my texture pastes here. These are the, I've got the rust and the, um, what is this one called? The patina effect. So that's probably not gonna, yeah. So I have those. I love to use those. I've got some liquid pearls, glitter, lots of glitter, some mica powders, and then, so this doesn't, I don't really have a place for it. It's my easel. 
so yeah I don't it's kind of is just it just roams around wherever I am not needing it at the moment <laughs> so then I have all of my buttons are in these little these are the acrylic little organizers from the Dollar Tree so I have them all organized by color there and then some wood beads and some mini clothespins this box here has all of like my vinyl scraps in it I have um like I can get it out probably I have it organized with manila folders and then I organize by color there so that I've got all my scraps organized by color and then this is like my good paper for card making um one is 100 pound and then this one I think is like 65 pound and these are like little scrapbook paper kits just have a few of those and then this folder here has got all of like my stamped images that I've stamped and then colored with my markers or pencils so they're all ready to go into like cards and then this here is my chipboard then I have a few of my most used vinyls here I've got black and white and the transfer I have all of my Cricut and cutting mats here I have some of these clear mats that I paint on they're like pretty much destroyed I need to get some new ones and then this is just an extra place mat that I had from the Dollar Tree and then this is all like scrapbook paper all scrapbook paper Jeez. and this one too moving down I have these are like this has got like manuals and stuff for like any of my equipment that I have in here um I think this is just empty yeah it's just an empty um binder and then I have all of my 8 by 10 paper here this is all my colored paper yeah and then I have this bin here this is how I organize really organize my scraps so I cut all of my papers down to either six by six or three by three so if I can cut it down to a six by six and this is like paper that I've already used so if I can cut it down to six by six then I cut it down to six by six and it goes here if it's not big enough or whatever is left over from that six by six cut then I cut it into three by threes and they go here and I have them pretty much organized by color you know these ones got out of order a little bit but and then these are like packs like paper packs small ones like six by six there's six by six paper packs in here too like and then down here are all of my um punches corner rounders like fun corner chompers this has cards in it this here is got book rings and some other stuff in it and then i think this is yeah this is my cross stitch that i'm working on it just lives in there until I work on it and then these are all of my 12 by 12 paper pads so it's just any and all of my 12 by 12 paper pads there's some Christmas there's like everything in there okay moving on so now I have this so this is like a four by four cubby and then this is a two by four cubby so I've got them sitting next to each other and this one has like so the wood flowers in here and then some kind of random wood pieces they actually don't belong in there but that's where I put them and then this is all like stickers like embellishment stickers not regular stickers or like the embellishment stickers so like little flowers or like the you know any of these embellishment type deals and then <laughs> random raffia there <laughs> And then this one here has got um this is a quilt that i was working on that i haven't touched for a while but there is like t-shirt making stuff in here so i can use like the heat transfer vinyl and my t-shirts and then this here is just like my i've got my laminating sheets in here labels this is like an extra scrapbook and then like envelopes for mailing stuff and this is like my old this is actually my old band folder from high school which is crazy okay and then this bin here has just got wood in it more wood i have some of these like a huge pack of these upholstery nails and then in here are all of like my tools and stuff that needs to be organized 
I didn't get a chance, but it's got like my hammer and my square and my um, sandpaper and all that kind of stuff. So this shelf here has got, so these are all like my rub on transfers from the Dollar Tree. And over here, I've got all of my stencils. So there's all stencils. And then back here is all of my uh, clear polymer stamps, or my clear stamps. So I have all my stamps, some from Cards TV, some from May May Made It, and then just some other ones that I picked up along the way. And then this is my stamping, we are memory keepers stamping thing, stamping press. All right, moving on. I have stickers up here. So these ones are ones that I've just recently bought and have not organized, but I made this little like organizer out of some scrapbook paper and I just have them labeled in different sets there. Okay, and I apologize, this is kind of getting a little dark, but I don't think there's much I can do about it at this point. Um, so I've just recently reorganized all this stuff so my labels are not right. So this one has got like, I've got my microphone and my camera is in there and then all the like bags from like all my stuff. So like my tripods and my lighting and stuff. And then this is wood stuff. I've got like some of these wood blocks and crates, a couple little rolling pins, just some random like wood stuff from the Dollar Tree mostly. And then in this one I have, this is mostly like my metal stuff. This is all the like new galvanized stuff that I just picked up from the Dollar Tree. And then I have a few of these lights. I just recently found those. So I picked up some of those. And then this bin here is just like extra craft stuff that I keep. So like there's electrical tape, there's extra glue bottles, um, some like old, this is really old. This needs to be thrown away. Some extra Aline's Tacky Glue, like a gigantic bottle. I don't even know how much this is. Oh, what does that say? 16 ounces? That's big. So yeah, there's that. And then this bin here has got all of my sewing stuff. So I have like, um, this is elastic. And then I've got little sewing containers. I've got patterns in there, all kinds of stuff. Pretty much anything related to sewing. Then in this one, I've got more crates and Dollar Tree stuff. This is just some random, just more random stuff. <laughs> this was um, a little doily that came from my, my husband's grandmother. And then there's just some little, my honeybee stuff is in there. This is just some empty boxes. These are empty containers, storage containers and stuff. This has got some random stuff in it. I've just recently been able to pick up, start picking up some of these pumpkins. Look how cute this one is. Look at that, isn't that so cute? Love it. So my Dollar Tree is starting to carry fall stuff. <laughs> this here is um, finished projects mostly. So um, decor that I don't wanna get rid of yet. This bin down here is all glasses. So like wine glasses and stuff. And then this is my camera bag. And then back in this corner, I have like my saw and a couple of clamps. And then that box back there is actually empty. This one has like fillers in it. So polyfill, and then I've got some um, plastic beading filler for like amigurumi animals and stuff. This is all floral, foam, moss, that kind of stuff. And then this bin here, which is a mess, is all fabric. So then I've got the couple of little pots and stuff. Um, those are some of my drawings that I've done. And then this little guy is a like a crocheted bear that I made. And then I've got my knitting needles back over there and then a couple of like jars with just some stuff in it. Like there's chalk and bells, rocks, that kind of stuff. 
All right, so here I've got my Cricut. And then I have it sitting on top of this rack here that I've secured it with like zip ties. And then I have, these are all my daubers for my um, oxides that I showed you earlier. And then these are my stamping inks. And then I have embossing powders in my heat tool. And these are uh, tape runners, mostly for like card making. These are embellishments. So this is all like um, sequins and stuff. These are all sequins. And then I've got a couple of like little glitters, like chunky glitters and then some eyelets and brads there. And then this is just kind of randomness. There's some extra glitters that I didn't want to put up on my shelf and then some raffia. These are like my drawing pens. I have to hide them because my kids will take them otherwise. And then um, some elastics there. This is got, this is all embroidery thread. And then these are chalk, um, chalk pastels. These are glues. And then I have some gel crayons here. And this is all acrylic paints. Oh, and there's some watercolor in there too. There's that. I know my floor is, I haven't vacuumed in here yet. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me. So here are all my regular chalk paints. These are my drawing pencils, all my paint brushes, my Mod Podges, more of the smaller Waverly chalk paints. I have some gesso. And then this here is all of my colored pencils. And I've got my Gamsol um, sharpeners on here too. And then you guys saw this, my little ribbon thing down there. And I think we're getting, we're getting close to the end guys. I have a lot to show you. <laughs> I'm insane. All right. So here are just some books that I'll use for like mixed media, just some old books and stuff that I don't use anymore. These are all ribbons. This is all Christmas ribbon here. And then more ribbon and twine, like the bigger twine, the baker's twine. And more ribbon. So as you can see, that ribbon holder just was mostly for a little bit of display. And then I have my desk here. There is my tripod and then my light is there and then I just got a couple little things on my desk and then my cart that has all of my like essential tools so I've got um, pliers scissors all of my glue is here my Cricut tools my plaid guy some glue sticks I've got glue sticks and then over here I've got this little basket that I just clipped on with some of these binder clips and I've got twines in there and then I've got some different tapes on this one some adhesives like um you know like that kind of stuff and then down here, I've got some baby wipes and my watercolor books. And that is pretty much it. <laughs> I got a couple of my um, painted girls up there. So yeah, so I know this is a long video. I hope that you enjoyed my craft room. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and if you haven't already subscribed i hope that you'll subscribe to my channel talk to you later bye going down going down i got mystery hair i don't know could be cat could be human could be dog could be just about anything at this point. This? No, that's dumb. <laughs> okay.
is Holy, can I get my tongue to work? La 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 Take twenty seven thousand. <sighs> Go get your crafty room tour party pants on and let's get into the video. A good thing I'm not trying to date anybody. <laughs> My husband is a lucky man. <laughs> okay. Lay a nap at be dang it any poo. Okay. Are you laughing at me? Yeah. Are you sure? Okay. You're positive? No. <laughs> I think you are laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> 